32. Aviation, the way it was meant to be. Looks like people want to call it blue suede shoes. So we're at blue suede shoes today. Uh, the start of my stole adventure. My plan with this aircraft is to start to do real stole type activities. I want to do short takeoff and landings and get in the short takeoff and landing competitions. While the airplane's not set up for it right now, um, with some modifications, I think it'll be shorter than people expect a Stinson to be. Um, I've gotten some landings sub 300 already, not even trying, not even having any numbers. I don't have anything on here such as a stall horn. I don't have any kind of angle of attack. We don't have V-cheese. I mean, it's got the leading edge slots that, you know, the Stinson has. But uh, today, I'm going to go up and uh, start the stall series to see exactly what my approach speeds can be so I can start getting this airplane slow enough to maybe uh, do some stall work with it. practice area, I won't always say practice area, 
come up to an area that's a uh, north town, non-populated, non-densely populated, definitely rural, and uh, has a lot of safe landing spots in it. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this thing back to 2,000 RPM. We've got the carburetor heat on, and we're gonna start the first stall at. Uh, well, we're gonna do all these at zero flaps. Also, I don't. Here's the first one. We're gonna do it like we were in the landing configuration. So there we are at 60. Nice slow approach speed. Pull it off. Hold it up. Looks like she's stalling at about 45. Put the first notch to flaps in. It is all right. I got a about 44. Uh, pardon me, 41, 42. We'll just call it 41. All right. Before she speeds up, we'll go ahead and do the last notch there. Bring it to idle. Not much difference, really. Right about 41 again. Just a 1500. Let's see what happens. 1500. Okay, I'm stalled. She stalled right about 39. It showed a 35 there for a second. Oh, I should recover on this stall here. There we go. So we're going to do this at 1800 RPM. This will be a approach power. So there's my 1800. I'm going to come in. I'll start it here in a no flaps. Feels power, pretty power onish, actually. That was 40. Pull the first notch of flaps. There we go. We're kind of slow. That's good. There's 35 indicated. All right, we're going to go ahead and try that one more time. Flaps two. Thirty-two. All right. Flaps nothing. We've covered red and back. Done everything I've wanted to do. Nice night to get up flying. It was a little windy, a little gusty earlier. As the night came on, like so often happens, it just got beautiful. Um, should probably be up flying right now. There's two parts to any stall. Number one is, uh, you know, is your approach speed, how slow you come in, and, uh, you know, making sure that once you land, you have a short ground roll. That's important, and, and that was the primary focus of today's flight. That's really what I wanted to go up and do. That's why I'm not up flying right now. So I wanted to see how slow my approaches should be. The second part is the spot landing. So today we went up and started working on how fast can I fly the airplane or how slow can I fly the airplane safely on final. The next part is, is looking at how can I land consistently at the same point every time. If I have a 100 foot ground roll, but I land 40 foot past you know, my, the, the line, it's 140 foot. Um, really, while the approach speeds are important, the ability to put the airplane where you want or land on your spot is the most important part of stole flying. Uh, 
and that's just a lot of practice. So now while I have gone up today and uh, you know found my approach speeds, or at least my stall speed, so then I can then work out an approach speed, which we'll do. Um, the next step is going to be watching me go out and practice and getting the spot landing portion of this down. Um, I would really like to see myself get into a, a 400 foot stole. Um, we'll see if it's possible with the airplane even. Uh, and I'm sure I'll mod it up, do what I need if I, if I continue to see progress. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see this, the stole videos will continue throughout uh, the year. I would assume uh, it'll continue through next June. There's a, I have a goal for next June, next July. Um, I'll announce that later if I, if I have some, pro, some good progress. Um, if not, I'll just keep it my little secret. But uh, thanks for watching.